just got out here not too long ago and it's a beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees. Uh, we had a really good flight in here uh, on the float plane. It was really a beautiful flight. We saw a lot of stuff on the way here and uh, the pilot that uh, flew us in, real nice guy, told us a lot about this uh, area up here and uh, even offered to have us come fishing with him sometime if we were to come back up here. But for right now, we're only up here for uh, 48 hours. Uh, we got dropped off at 10 a.m. and get picked up at 10 a.m. and uh, enjoy the weather. And I think there's only a 10% chance of uh, any kind of uh, precipitation. Not even until like tomorrow that. night. Yeah, so. We're all good. Pretty excited to be out here. It should be pretty, uh, pretty peaceful, hopefully. Finally back at the lake. Yeah. Yeah, back at the big lake. Yeah, it's hard to get in here. You gotta go come in on a plane. It's pretty much the only way to get in. Like, what would it be if you hiked it? Boring. You know? Or do you know how far it'd be? If you hiked in? 40 some miles. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like 40 miles in. But that's, you know, uh, pretty treacherous terrain, so it takes you quite a while. We just got here. It's going to be a great, great two days. And it's really beautiful out, about 70, 75 degrees out. A slight breeze. Finally back at the, at the lake. Yeah. We're going to have a great time up here. How many times have you been out here now? This will be the third time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, nice, nice ride in. It was a good flight. Yeah. Well, yeah. The guy was pretty cool. I might go fishing with him. Yeah. That, that'd be cool. So yeah. in two days he'll be picking us up, we'll be ready to go. Yeah. Uh, basically just out here uh, having a good time fishing and testing out anyway. testing out some of our gear and stuff like that. Oh too. yeah, test yeah, test the gear. Yeah. 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 We uh, hold the truck back, that's for sure. The hills are up and down. Oh, yeah. And it's just the train is just jungle like. But they say, you know, northern Canada it's kinda like a jungle. Well it's definitely it's wild. Bad. Yeah, it's wild. Pretty nice day out though, huh? Looking like uh, tonight we're gonna get that big storm that we were worried we might get. So we'll have to see what happens and uh, hopefully our uh, our plane shows up in time to get us out of here if it is bad. So we don't want to get too wet out here. Fucking shit, dude! I said, holy shit! Are you staying dry? Yeah, I think so. My tent's going nuts, though, dude. My tent's like gonna collapse or some shit. I said, my tent is moving around. Whoa! Holy shit! Dude, if I wasn't in my tent, it'd be blown away! Man, we hit a bad storm last night. We had 50 mile an hour winds, um, heavy rain, downpour. We had uh, 
about hail. We had uh, uh, lightning and uh, just uh, pretty scary. We're looking at possibly another uh, bad thunderstorm tonight. Uh, rain, hail, lightning again, so we're going to see how that goes as well. Well, for some reason we uh, forgot to put the satellite phone away last night and uh, got completely drenched and soaked, so I'm um, going to try to let it dry out, but it's, uh, as of right now, the satellite phone isn't working and <clears throat> that's what we need to be able to call to get out of here, so kind of concerned about that. Hopefully taking the satellite phone apart, drying out all the components in the sun, um, we'll try it out in a couple hours and see if we can't get that working. But right now the main focus is uh, we're going to eat some breakfast, get some food in us, so we got some energy to uh, <clears throat> accomplish the tasks of the day. Well, since the phone's out, we might have to think about walking out, or at least to a ranger station. It's only 17 miles away. Yeah. <sighs> kind of sucks, man. Should have kind of prepared for possibly not having a phone. Well, it's uh, day uh, three, and we're making some coffee right now to help try to help suppress our appetite so we don't eat uh, all of our rations up. Uh, no luck on the satellite phone. Um, gave it a good 12 hour wait on it, put it back together, and it's still not working. So we're gonna ration our food here and kind of come up with a game plan as far as walking back to possibly a ranger station or even a town that we know that's actually south of here. Ranger station's west of here take us just as long to go to either direction so we're trying to decide which way we want to go but we're gonna have a cup of coffee here and then uh, wait another hour or two and try to eat something and then uh, we'll be back to check in with you guys and let you know how we're doing well there's two kinds of wild peas uh, one kind is really good delicious and the other kind of wild pea will make you really sick but we really don't have a choice here so we're gonna uh, these ones we found to try. Yeah, see what they taste like, I guess. Hope we don't get sick on them. How's it taste? Yeah, pretty good. Well, wait at least an hour. If you get sick, then I'll know that I don't eat it. Well, we, we've got one more or four, so we should have a pretty good dinner tonight. If you catch enough of these little frogs, they make a pretty good dinner. Just can't let them get away. They're really slippery. They like to jump. And you can lose your meal really quick. But that'll make a good meal for tonight. Yeah. It's a pretty decent sized one. I was able to nap three uh, uh, frogs. Just cooked them up a minute a little bit ago and uh, not too bad. Surprisingly good. Well, I've definitely helped our uh, food situation out. Dick's feeling a lot better after getting uh, sick from eating uh, uh, wild peas. Just happened to eat the wrong kind. So it's the kind of mistakes that can uh, you can make when you're out here like that. Other than that, he's doing pretty good. He's uh, I think he's staying pretty relaxed, considering we're not sure when we're going to get out of here. And, He's uh, following uh, all the protocol and all the training that we've uh, we 
we've both got uh, pretty much by the book and we don't even know when we're going to get out of here. I mean, that's just totally up in the air. But uh, I'm pretty much more comfortable with it. He's getting a little, uh, it seems like he is getting a little bit nervous because um, he's still not feeling 100% better after getting sick. So we were thinking uh, he might have some type of blood infection. Make sure he didn't get any kind of viral or bacterial poisoning uh, from the plants uh, he was eating. Just, you gotta be real careful. I mean, you're hungry, but you gotta make good choices when you're out here. All right, hey guys, it's uh, day four. Uh, we're still pretty much uh, uh, pretty bummed out about losing the satellite phone. That was our pretty much our ticket out of here. Um, we only had one plane chartered to get in here, and that guy had a two-day window that he could come actually pick us up. And if we didn't get to, uh, through to him then, he'd assume that we were gonna stay another week, which we decided uh, not to because we forgot half of our food. So it's looking like uh, we might be here for a few more days. Uh, we might try to get to the radio tower that we saw when we flew in. I'm not sure how that's going to go. It's pretty thick out there. Um, and like I was saying before, we only have the one machete, so I don't know how we're going to get through all that. So we're going to check back with you guys soon and let you know how we're doing. Yeah, this stuff's pretty thick here. This isn't a good time at all. I don't even feel like walking through this shit. What the fuck? We just got back. We tried to uh, get to a radio tower that's about 10 miles away from here. I don't know, we made it about four miles in and it took us about four hours to go four miles, so we turned around, just got back, left early this morning, so we uh, kind of expected that that might happen, so we left early so we could get back before the sun went down. Um, so that didn't work out, so we, we think we're probably just going to be staying here, and uh, that way at least we can, um, hopefully uh, somebody will see us instead of trying to go through the, uh, the bush. Thick. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a little better. All right. So, kind of like got a lot of water. Yeah. We uh, we definitely don't have a shortage of uh, water right here, so we're gonna stay here because we just got a little bit of food left. We're probably gonna eat that half of that tonight, the other half tomorrow, and then that'll put us at day uh, six, something like that. Yeah. Just crazy, getting pretty tired, haven't had much to eat, and uh, it's, uh, we did about eight miles today just trying to go get to that fire tower and back, and got halfway and realized we weren't going to be able to make it all the way to the tower before nightfall. And that's all the food we have left right there. That's it. That's all we have to last for however long we're going to be out here. Real bad situation, real bad situation. Probably either all that, or maybe either eat half of that tonight. But that is what we're down to here. We got a couple traps set that haven't uh, yielded any success to this point. So we're going to keep fixing up the shelter, expecting a pretty big storm tonight again. So hopefully things are going to work out okay. Oh, he 
just fell. Uh oh. Oh wow. man. You see me? Yeah, I did. It actually might have been on video. See that stick there? It came the side of the hill and popped me on the side of the foot. I just pulled me right down. Oh man. Are you? Are you? This is day six. This is really starting to suck. Uh, no one came looking for us today. We were kind of expecting that. The full plane to come by. Same place dropped us off. Uh, if not today, he'll be by tomorrow. Do have flares. Problem is Jeff is sick. Uh, at least I think he's sick. Been sleeping for about four and a half hours. I don't know if it's something he ate or he's got fever. But uh, we just uh, we need to get out of here now. Though. It's been long enough. officially uh, stuck here and we're officially out of food and we're officially screwed for the time being kind of sucks no phone satellite phone got wet keep that thing broke don't know what happens with the pilot never heard anything been waiting no call, no show on the pilot. Trying to get worried. Yeah. Got a bad leg. <clears throat> Both of us got sick. It's been uh, tumultuous, to say the least. Did find raspberries. Yeah, we did eat some raspberries. Thankfully, we found a nice patch up in the woods there. Not many though. Not much to eat. I'm gonna try to get some sleep tonight. I haven't been sleeping too good either last night or two. So we'll see how day six treats us, I guess, huh? Yep. Hey guys, been out here probably close to a week now and uh, both Dick and myself are pretty beat down. Worn down, beat down. It's uh, early in the morning and I just want to show you guys uh, one of our uh, contingency plans we use for our first aid kits. We both put a little tobacco and rolling paper in there so if we ever find ourselves in a situation where we've run out of food we can use the tobacco as an appetite suppressant and a stimulant to try to keep our moods up. Which is really important when you're actually uh, in a survival situation like we both are. So we just really want to try to get out of here as soon as we can and um, hopefully uh, Dick's plan that he had came up with last night to possibly fix our satellite phone is going to work. And if we can get our satellite phone working, we can uh, call and try to get out of here. And it really sucks we've been having to drink this uh, lake water. All we have left is our iodine tablets because our water uh, filter broke. So. Water is pretty gross tasting right now. We're definitely about ready to go home. Just here to check you guys again quick. Been out here for far too long. Both hungry, starving. We have plenty of water. My satellite phone, as you know, is out. I think it's a battery. So I'm going to try to gonna take apart my cell phone since it doesn't work out here anyway. Fully charged. Try to use uh, all the parts and pieces I can to make it at least come out or work or something. Kind of tired to go look actually for food. You know, we do have plenty of berries, but we can actually catch a fish.